Well, well. Look what we have here. I must say, little sprite, I didn't expect you to be quite so bold. Or maybe I should just say I didn't expect you to be quite so stupid. You must have known that your decision to steal my keys and sneak in here wasn't a smart one. <laughs> Oh, of course I knew. I've been waiting in here for you to show up. I'm the captain of the Abyss Pirates. Did you really think I wouldn't notice when you snuck the key from my pocket? You are very sneaky, little sprite. But not that sneaky. How unfortunate for you. Or maybe not. You know, anyone else would jump at the chance to spend uninterrupted alone time with me. I am quite popular, you know. <laughs> wow, that almost hurts my feelings, little sprite. I would have thought it was obvious. What with my dashing good looks and irresistible personality. <sighs> you are quite the tough nut to crack, aren't you? Well, no one ever said I didn't like a challenge. More importantly though, what exactly do you think you're doing in my map room? Oh, of course I know the reason, but I'd like to hear it come directly from your mouth. Just to make sure you understand what a silly decision you've made. <sighs> Seems you really haven't given up on the idea of stealing from me, eh? And here I thought that you were starting to get comfortable aboard this vessel. It's quite disappointing. Although, I can't deny that I admire your ambition. You know exactly what a precarious situation you are in here. And yet you decided to go ahead with this little scheme anyway. It's actually quite impressive. And to be so bold as to think you could steal from right under my nose, I really can't help but respect it. Though, you must know the situation you've put me in here. I can't exactly let insubordination like this stand. So, little sprite. I'll ask you, what reason do I have? Not to just kill you, right here and now. <laughs> what an answer! You really are a little firecracker, aren't you? Makes me glad I chose not to throw you overboard that first night. You are far too entertaining. Reminds me of myself a little. To be honest, I used to be just like you. Well, you've convinced me. You get to live another night. I can't bear to miss out on the endless hours of entertainment I'd surely lose if I killed you now. Just... don't do this again. If you do, then I really will be forced to make an example of you. And I can't promise that it won't be a very enjoyable experience. Besides... It's not as if the documents you are looking for are in here, anyway. 
Of course not. You are looking for information on the heart and its location, yes? Did you really think I would just leave that lying around in the map room of all places? That's far too obvious. Not to mention, boring. I have a far more secure place where I keep those particular documents. Only Kane and I have access to them. There's nothing in here but uninteresting charts and logs of all the journeys this ship has taken. Oh, and a few of my books. I ran out of space in my own cabin, so I'll move some of them here. Kappa doesn't mind. And is the only member of the crew who ever comes in here. Besides me, of course. Oh, getting curious, are we? <laughs> the look on your face. It's like it was physically painful for you to ask that question. Goodness, you don't need to act so disgusted by the idea of getting to know me a bit better. We are technically crewmates, you know. I mean, you have the right to dislike whoever you want. Still though, I'd prefer it if you didn't hate me. After all, I myself have grown rather... fond of you. Even if it is merely as a plaything. <laughs> all right, all right. No need to glare at me like that. I'll answer your questions, because I'm feeling generous. Most of the books I have are about archaeology and the old world. <laughs> I know, it's not exactly common for a pirate such as myself to enjoy reading so much. But, well, I suppose you could say that it's my calling. Ever since I was a child, I've been fascinated by the profession of archaeology. To go in search of old civilizations which have long since been lost to time. To study ancient peoples and their culture. To be part of the process of unravelling the mystery that is the world. Frankly, I could think of nothing better. Oh, of course the life I have right now is unmatched. There's nothing more free than being a pirate. I can go wherever I want in all the seven seas. But... Sometimes, I can't help but wonder how things would have turned out if I had had the money to pursue my studies as a child. I wonder how different of a person I might have been. There's no point on dwelling on it, though. And besides, it's not as if I've had to leave that dream behind entirely. I have my books. I have all the time in this world to read, and much of what I've been on this endless ocean is far beyond what any real archaeologist could even dream of. When I retire... <laughs> I'm afraid that's not how this works, little sprite. True pirates don't get to dream of a life after piracy. Either we die at sea, or we're captured by our enemies, and they're the ones to kill us. There's no other option. The sea. It takes something from you if you spend enough time on it. We belong to it now. And one way or another, it'll stake its claim on us eventually. Morbid? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. In fact, I find it quite beautiful. 
There's nothing I would love more than to give my heart to the sea. It's probably all that I deserve at this point anyway. <laughs> Though, I don't suppose you'd understand what I mean, little sprite. Like I said before, there's a fire in your eyes. A fire that is yet to be snuffed out by the sea. You might just make it out. But enough about this. You have other questions for me, don't you? My childhood? Wow, you're getting personal, huh? Are you really so curious about me, little sprite? Well, if that's the case, I'm happy to share some things with you. I grew up in a small coastal town, not far from the Royal Navy's eastern headquarters. Hmm? Oh, goodness, no. It was an awful place. A real shithole, to be honest. I couldn't wait to get out of there. It would rain for nine months out of the year, and snow for the other three. We were all starving. No crops could grow in the mud holes we called fields and the coastline was far too dangerous for any fishing. The only food we ever got was the rations that were given to those who worked as servants in the Navy HQ. No, I had to steal from other people. Both of my parents were dead before I even turned five. Tch, <laughs> well, what did you expect? I'm not exactly a model citizen now, am I? It wasn't too bad. Because of those awful conditions, that place was a breeding ground for all kinds of disease. There were tons of orphans, just like me. We all banded together and formed a little family of our own. It was quite a bit of fun, actually. No rules. No one to tell us what we could and couldn't do. We spent the day playing games, and at night, there would always be a few of us who went to nick food from whoever seemed like they had the most to spare. We had a whole system to choose who went. It was quite sophisticated. I even had a best friend. Uh-huh. Her name was Avery. She was the sweetest little thing. She had hair that was as red as a ripe apple. And she'd always do it in these adorable little braids. So cute. And she was kind. Kinder than anyone else I've ever met. <sighs> All those kids were probably the only friends I've ever had. At the time, I was entirely content to stay there for the rest of my life. But, evidently, I eventually chose to leave. I joined the Navy, became a sailor, then commandeered a ship and went rogue, and I've been out here ever since. In comparison to some of my crewmates, I've had a relatively easy life. Guess I should count myself lucky. So, I've told you my story. Care to grace me with yours? <laughs> oh, not yet, huh? <laughs> I thought as much. Of course... You may try your hardest to be mysterious, but you are actually quite predictable, little sprite. Well, it's no matter. 
I'm sure I'll find out eventually. After all, there's not much you can keep secret from a captain aboard his own ship. That goes for you, and for everyone else. Oh, I don't know. What do you think I'm implying? <laughs> well then, I guess you'll just have to figure it out yourself. <sighs> you know, I think it might just be time for us to turn it in for the night. Kappa mentioned earlier that the weather's going to start getting worse from here on. Something about a low pressure zone. You may not be allowed a good night's rest for a while. Best to sleep when you can now. Me? Hmm. Well, I think I'll do the same. Captains need to sleep too. You should know. You were planning to take full advantage of that just a little while ago. <laughs> Guess I was a few too many steps ahead of you, though. <sighs> I may just get myself a drink before I turn in, though. It's another beautiful night. After all, it'd be a waste not to enjoy a nice bottle of rum while I watch the stars. Oh. Well... This is a surprise. Can't get enough of me, can you, little sprite? <laughs> well, I don't mind. Though, I should warn you. I hold my liquor pretty well. If you are hoping to get me so drunk that I'll spill all my secrets, I'm afraid you'll end up disappointed. <laughs> Just letting you know. I know you'd never do something quite so awful. You're a better person than that, right? Well then, I see no issue. Come along, I'll show you where we keep the good stuff. Now that... I don't mind you stealing. I didn't pay for a single drop of it, after all. Besides, everyone deserves a treat from time to time. Wouldn't you agree, little sprite? Hey, little sprite. I'm glad to see you stuck around for a second. Think you can do something for me? Wonderful. If you enjoyed this audio, let us know by liking the video and subscribing to this channel. We also have a Patreon for adult listeners only at patreon.com slash Celestera. There's a ton of good content over there. I can promise you, you'll have a lot of fun. <laughs> I may even be showing up on there pretty soon. Oh, and if you want to commission your own custom audio, hit us up at anagomi.com slash commission. Well, that's all I had to say. Gotta get back to my captain's duties, you know. Stay out of trouble. See you soon.